Where do you start if you're brand new to dental photography? What kind of equipment should you uh, lean towards, a full frame or a crop sensor? So there are two, I guess, uh, directions you can go. And you can go like a sub thousand dollar range setup or you can go a five thousand dollar range setup. And I would say that it really depends on what your end goal is. So you can get to the same destination with both types of setups. It's just one has a better performance than the other one, meaning uh, one requires, which is the sub $1,000 range, it's gonna you know, cost less initially up front, but you're gonna need more money towards lights and things like that to get the kind of image quality that you would with a, a full frame camera. As far as quality is concerned, you're probably gonna get the same kind of quality. And really, you have to think about where you're publishing these, these photos. If you're gonna be publishing on, on social media, then uh, a crop sensor will do just as well as a full frame uh, as far as quality. Um, you know, when you have a, a better camera sensor, the image quality is a little uh, better as far as capturing light and uh, skin tones and things like that. And, you know, that's, I think that's probably uh, subjective. Uh, I can tell the difference, but I don't know if somebody like a potential patient looking at your photos could tell the difference. And when you get from $1,000 to $5,000, when you step up to that range, you know, you have to ask yourself, is the quality difference worth the price? And some would say no, some would say yes, it depends on, you know, your perspective. So another thing to consider is who's gonna be taking these photos. If it's a dental assistant, then you might not want to invest in, you know, a really expensive setup because what's gonna happen, it will eventually get dropped. Now, as far as lenses are concerned, you have to really think about what kind of space you're going to be in uh, when you're doing your photography. You know, if you're in a five by five room, you're not going to be able to use a 90 millimeter or a 100 millimeter lens, no matter what kind of camera you have, whether it's crop sensor or full frame, because uh, there just isn't that space to back up. You know, you're only going to you're going to be very tight, and you really want that um, ability to be able to zoom in a little bit and crop in those photos and edit. Um, having that space and that buffer to do that. Uh, I would probably stay away from flash photography, like uh, twin arm flash. I know a lot of people are gonna hate me for that. I know a lot of dentists are gonna give me a thumbs down. What happens whenever you when you get that tight in, in close proximity of the patient's mouth, with flash systems, you're gonna get flash uh, bright lights on the lips and teeth, and that's something that you don't want. The goal in dental photography is to get a nice, even light across the lips and the teeth and no hot spots whenever you're taking your photos. So if you want more in depth on uh, cameras and uh, mirrors and lights and things like that, it's in my dental photography course, and that will be linked in the description below. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. We're all here to help each other out. So I will see you in the next video.